Okay, so now we got call for heat. Heat comes on. Blower's not on anymore. Uh oh, looks like one of our burners a little bit. Yeah, I noticed it. You dislodged it when having you having fun. Yeah. There's supposed to be a burner door a flame guard on there that locks those burners in, but I took it out so you guys can see what happens with these things. And so this is its normal operation here. It just so the sequence is uh, call for heating. So call for heat. That, it warms up the chamber. Mm -hmm. And then it turns on. See above is one of them controls. That's cam stat on top there. What is it? It's a little cam stat control. Mm -hmm. It's a fan and limit. So it's sensing the temperature inside the firebox. And now the firebox, of course, is warming up. And so it's... Do we get about 150 yeah, for a kick's fan on? Get about 150. Yeah. The real student needs to see this. It was a <laughs> Yeah. So this is the normal situation. Get the fan going here. You can put that on YouTube, Andrew? Yeah, later. <laughs> no, I don't want to be on YouTube. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on YouTube. You didn't advertise this Can you say lawsuit? Mr. Lane, did you mean? Can we put some backdrop in there? Nothing yet. It's just normal operation. This is sealed off, so it's where it's supposed to be. Doors closed, and our uh, it has a little low combustion air inlet, so it's going to let in some air. Taking a while, isn't it? Yeah. No heat coming through. You'll feel some heat up here if you put your hand up here, Jimmy. You can yeah. feel some heat that's just yeah. by normal migration. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it should be coming on eventually here. How old is this? Nineteen sixty. Mine's older than this 1970? one. Nineteen seventy. I have an old one. Mine's a gaffer. It's old. It's no, about as big no. as this box almost. Now we got heat. Fans coming on. Oh yeah. So we got some nice heat coming through. And everything looks good. Burning like it should. You notice the flame is not getting interfered with. Now yeah, you get this mound of dust. Oh, dust, dust, dust. oh yeah, the new, new heat comes <laughs> Yeah, you can tell the dust burning. Okay. That's the first thing you did it on. <laughs> so then, what if... Homeowner comes along, he forgets to change his filter, the wife calls him to dinner and he says, oh, okay, I'll be there in a second. Leaves that off. Look what you see. First thing. <laughs> <laughs> Moisture. Moisture. Yeah. Yeah. What off again? What's happening is the door. The door. So what's the happening door. now is you notice the flu used to have the fumes going out, now they're coming in. And it's leaving, remember that moisture we talked about that's yeah. burning the fuel? You can see it on the door right now. <laughs> and so now what's happening is, if you look at the flames, they're a little different. Yeah. They're a little flame, they're kind of lazy. Yeah. They're being interfered with. Because what's happening now is the air path is going down this flue pipe and coming out this inverter. Okay. So some air is going in to burn and all coming this way, heading to the blower. Mm. The blower is a little stronger than natural drafting. So you can see what's happening to it and you see what it looks like. It's a little yellow, it's not getting the proper amount of air anymore. It was working great. Yeah, it's lifting off the burner. Yeah. You can see the flames lifting. Yeah. And then if you... What if we... starts to get worse. It starts to have issues. Because there's no longer enough air in here, any path. And then if a squirrel crawls in there <laughs> and blocks off a few more things, so now the air has to come from the return, but there's not much air in here to burn. And you notice this is disappearing somewhat. And the flames in here are getting lazier and lazier. And they're actually lifting off of the burner because there's not enough air to burn. And that's what happens when you have installations that aren't proper. And you don't smell any change, but we're producing monoxide right now at a pretty high level. But you don't smell anything because it's a clean burn right now. So that's the scenario. Yeah, aldehyde is when that flame gets impinged on. So right now it's not impinging on anything. But the minute it touches something that's colder than 1200 degrees, starts to deposit soot, that's when they get the aldehyde odors. Yeah, you can see the flame lifting off the burner over here big time. Yeah, it's, it's looking for oxygen it's and like it's not like getting it. It's far off the burner. Yeah. Now, it's granted, it takes all of these conditions to create this problem. 
but an improper, improperly installed furnace, yeah, it's a problem. Insulation falls down into the combustion air in the wall somewhere because someone didn't leave that six inches above in the attic space, that's a problem. Or somebody puts too long of a route for the flue pipe or pipes in a larger outlet to a smaller inlet, or he has too many turns in it, for example, and the fumes can't get out, that's just what happens. Flame should be long like that. That's a lazy flame. No, so you can see it lifting on this side. It's, it's actually lifting off the burner. Yeah, like it's having far off. Uh, yeah. It's having yeah. issues. On this side, it's pretty far. You guys want to see what the correct combustion looks like? Uh, that's why we put the door on here, so you guys can see it. What happens if you open the door? Well, then we'll probably have correct combustion because we get a bunch of fresh air. Hmm. Yeah, really. Yeah. That's what I was so right now, it's being starved for air. <laughs> And even if I take this off, it's probably going to be bottom. <laughs> Just a little more. You can see the moisture is disappearing on the door. It's because of the temperature. Feel it. It's getting warm. Yeah. So now the yeah. And this is warped up. See, it's warps. Yeah. That's why we put that up there. Yeah, I was trying to push on it to get a tighter seal to see if we could really yeah. draw a vacuum. Yeah. And so that that's that's a problem. So if you don't have, if you don't make sure that this conditioned air stream is sealed off, then it's going to be a problem. And clients do it all the time. They change the filter out, they don't put the door on, they shut the door shut, and then everybody's sick in the family. The new furnaces have a door switch, right? The new furnaces, because of that condition, has door switches. But, yeah. they, but they, people jump them, and they even jump them. And that's a hazard. You can see what happens. You can see why. That's not a good idea. And so here, here is now burning correct. Yeah, it's a big difference. It's a big difference, yeah. So the reason I made this mock-up was so you guys can see what it looks like between a nice, correctly burned and improper burn. I left you no more. No. It's a lot different, though. No? So here's another situation where if we we can block this off and start to back up some of that stuff. And what that does is it'll start to spill. So now it's not going out the flue pipe, it's spilling up front here. The way we check for that is I carry a pocket mirror, and I always hold my pocket mirror in front of that diverter to see if any fumes are coming out. You'll see steam on your mirror. It's a quick, cheap test, really easy. Yeah. Another test is by match. So if you have if you have spillage, what's the spillage absent of? Oxygen. Oxygen. So if I have a nice burning flame, put it right out. Oh, it blows it up. It's coming in. No, it doesn't blow it up. It suffocates it. If I can get right up to it, I'll make a nice big tall flame for you, Jimmy. Nice big tall one. See, I can get right up to it until I find where that spillage is. And see the, it's not the smoke. Yeah, no, it's it just not. It's not getting out. So it's coming down. So it's coming down the burner. You put your hand here. Feel it. You feel this. Put your hand. Yeah, it's supposed to be going that way. And it's coming back. It's moist. Feel the moisture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's hot. Yeah. See if the, let's see if I could fog the lens up. Oh yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it contains. For every cubic foot, it contains two cubic feet of vapor, so, yeah. And so that's a cheap test. Wall heaters, floor heaters, forced air heaters that have diversion, you can test for spillage that way with a match or with a mirror, either one. So if you, put, if you pull it out, so the match will stay lit when you do it. Uh -huh. Sure. You have to have this I do that quickly because it gets hot. How you put it Yeah. We've got a few doubters in the crowd here. <laughs> I wouldn't teach you something that, uh... Get a nice flame going again. See? See? Because now it's venting. And the other thing is, is the smoke shows that it's drawing in. It doesn't come this way. Why is it running all out? Is that because there's no oxygen? You can start for oxygen? It, after you've spent it, there's no more oxygen, so it suffocates or smothers the flame. Yep. Pretty cool. Not bad.